Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn Ravis test. Ravis test. If sigma un is a positive term series such that limit n tends to infinity n un by un plus 1 minus 1 is equal to l then the series converges if l is greater than 1 and diverges if l is less than 1 and the test fails if l is equal to 1 case 1 suppose that l is greater than 1 let epsilon be a positive number such that l minus epsilon is greater than 1 Let L minus epsilon is equal to alpha, which is greater than 1. Since limit n tends to infinity, n into un by un plus 1 minus 1 is equal to L. Therefore, there exists a positive integer m such that modulus n into un by un plus 1 minus 1 minus l is equal to is less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to m implies that l minus epsilon is less than n into un by un plus 1 minus 1 which is less than l plus epsilon for all n greater than or equal to m implies that n into u n by u n plus 1 minus 1 is greater than l minus epsilon is equal to alpha for all n greater than or equal to m implies that n into un minus n into un plus 1 is greater than alpha un plus 1 which implies that n into un minus n plus 1 u n plus 1 is greater than alpha minus 1 u n plus 1 for all alpha minus 1 sorry alpha minus 1 is greater than 0 now putting n is equal to m m plus 1 m plus 2 up to n minus 1 in this inequality then we have m u m minus m plus 1 u m plus 1 greater than alpha minus 1 u m plus 1 n is equal to m plus 1 we have m plus 1 into u m plus 1 minus m plus 2 u m plus 2 greater than alpha minus 1 u m plus 2 in this way we have n minus 1 into u n minus 1 minus n u n is greater than alpha minus 1 into u n adding these terms adding left hand side and right hand side together we have diagonally these terms are cancelled so m u m minus n u n is greater than alpha minus 1 u m alpha minus 1 into u m plus 1 plus u m plus 2 plus u m plus 3 up to u n which is equal to alpha minus 1 into s n minus s m where s n is equal to sigma r is equal to 1 to n u r where s n is the sequence of partial
sums. Implies that alpha minus 1 into Sn minus Sm is less than m times um for all n is greater than or equal to m implies that s n is less than s m plus m by alpha minus 1 into um for all n greater than or equal to m since m is a fixed integer therefore right hand side s m plus m by alpha minus 1 into um is a fixed finite number thus the sequence sn of partial sums of the given series is bounded above and hence the series sigma un is convergent case 2 suppose that l is less than 1 Let epsilon be a positive number such that L plus epsilon is less than 1. Since limit n tends to infinite, n into un by un plus 1 minus 1 is equal to L. Therefore, there exists a positive integer m such that modulus n into un by un plus 1 minus 1 minus L is less than epsilon for all n is n is greater than or equal to m implies that l minus epsilon is less than n into un by un plus 1 minus 1 which is less than l plus l plus epsilon and this l plus epsilon is less than 1 for all n is greater than or equal to m implies that From here implies that un by un plus 1 minus 1 is less than 1 by n for all n greater than or equal to m, which implies that un by un plus 1 is less than n plus 1 by n for all n is greater than or equal to m. If vn is equal to 1 by n, the series sigma vn is divergent and un by un plus 1 is less than vn by vn plus 1 hence by comparison test the series sigma un is divergent case 3 the test fails for l is equal to 1 in the sense that it fails to give any definite information for example Consider the two series sigma n equal to 1 to infinite 1 by n and sigma n equal to 1 to infinite 1 by n into log of n whole square. First case here even is equal to 1 by n, even plus 1 is equal to 1 by n plus 1. So, n into un by un plus 1 minus 1 is equal to n into n plus 1 by n minus 1 is equal to 1. Therefore, limit n tends to infinity n into un by un plus 1 minus 1 is equal to 1. But the series sigma n equal to 1 to infinite 1 by n is divergent. In the second case, here un is equal to 1 by n log n square, 1 by n log n whole square, un plus 1, 1 by n plus 1, if we put n plus 1 in place of n, we have un plus 1 is equal to 1 by n plus 1 log of n plus 1 whole square un by un plus 1 is equal to n plus 1 into log of n plus 1 whole square by n times log of n whole square 
which is equal to n plus 1 by n n2 log of n plus 1 by log n whole square implies that u n by u n plus 1 is equal to if we divide by n then we get 1 plus 1 by n after simplification this log of n into n plus log of n into 1 plus 1 by n by log of n whole square is equal to 1 plus 1 by n into 1 plus log of 1 plus 1 by n by log of n whole square is equal to 1 plus 1 by n into 1 plus 1 by log of n 1 by n minus 1 by 2 n square plus 1 by 3 n cube up to infinity whole square is equal to 1 plus 1 by n 1 plus 2 by log of n into 1 by n minus 1 by 2 n square plus 1 by thrice n cube up to infinity this we have got by binomial theorem and this is equal to 1 plus 1 by n plus 2 by log of n into 1 by n minus 1 by twice n square plus 1 by thrice n cube minus up to infinity plus 2 by n log n into 1 by n minus 1 by twice n square plus 1 by thrice n cube. After simplification we have u n by u n plus 1 is equal to this and ultimately n into u n by u n plus 1 minus 1 is equal to 1 plus 2 by log n into 1 by n minus 1 by twice n square plus 1 by thrice n cube minus up to infinity. Therefore, limit n tends to infinity n into u n by u n plus 1 minus 1 is equal to 1. But the series sigma n equal to 1 to infinite 1 by n into log of n square is convergent. Remark Ravis test is stronger than D. Lambert's ratio test and may succeed where ratio test fails. Example 2 Test for the convergence of the series alpha by beta plus 1 plus alpha by 1 plus beta plus 1 plus alpha into 2 plus alpha by 1 plus beta into 2 plus beta plus up to infinity. Solution. Here u n is equal to 1 plus alpha into 2 plus alpha into 3 plus alpha up to n minus 1 plus alpha by 1 plus beta into 2 plus beta dot 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 up to n minus 1 plus beta. And u n plus 1 is equal to 1 plus alpha into up to n plus alpha by 1 plus beta into 2 plus beta up to n plus beta. Therefore, u n plus 1 by u n is equal to n plus alpha by n plus beta. So, limit n tends to infinity u n plus 1 by u n is equal to limit n tends to infinity alpha plus beta by n plus sorry 
limit n tends to infinity n plus alpha by n plus beta is equal to n limit n tends to infinity 1 plus alpha by n plus 1 by 1 plus beta by n dividing numerator and denominator by n which is equal to 1. Therefore, the ratio test fails. This is limit entrance to infinity. Un plus one. And this is going to limit n tends to infinity n into n plus beta by n plus alpha minus one is equal to beta minus alpha. By Ravi's test, the series converges if beta minus alpha is greater than one or beta is greater than alpha plus one and diverges if beta is less than alpha plus 1. The test fails if beta is equal to alpha plus 1. Test fails if beta is equal to alpha plus 1. But for beta is equal to alpha plus 1, the series becomes alpha by alpha plus 1 plus 1 plus alpha by 2 plus alpha plus 1 plus alpha by 3 plus alpha up to infinity is equal to sigma 1 plus alpha by n plus alpha which diverges by comparison test with 3 sigma n equal to 1 to infinite 1 by n. This is all about Ravi's test.